three elegant folds, the samurai helmet, the swan, and the cute learn to fold these together. Tingles with fiber. Daily ASMR videos. Hello. Welcome to the napkin folding. my pleasure today to instruct you on how to make some elegant and fun napkin folds. Now I do have my iron for this session today, so we'll be able to get some nice creases in our napkins. It's not necessary for all of these folds to use an iron, but we do sometimes like to use an iron just to add to the element. I also have a spray bottle with water, which we'll use to give us extra steam. The first fold that we'll start with is the Easter Bunny. This is a cute way to celebrate the Easter season. So we'll first just need to know where our middle is. So we'll make a light crease here. But we're just using that so we know where to fold into. So we're going to fold down. from the top and the bottom towards the middle. And maybe I'll set these others to the side so we can see the contrast a bit better. We've got a towel down here to protect our wooden table down below from the heat. Of the iron. Okay, so we'll just give ourselves and then we just want to press down these edges. Gives us nice crisp edges. So next, I'm going to then fold this again, bringing these two halves together. Maybe easier actually to have done this. realign our creases should we need to. Thank you. 
So, now we're going to find our center point for the napkin and fold the right side of the napkin up vertically so we get this nice 45 degree angle. We'll press that in. Next, going to fold corners in so we get this triangle on this side and if it's a little bit off that's completely okay especially with the deep creases that we get from the heat of the iron It'll be more than sufficient Now we're going to repeat that same process on this side by folding this up so we get that nice 45 degree angle here on the left back in place because the, these maroon napkins are not quite exactly square so we will see a little bit of overlap that's okay we just kind of go with it and now we're going to fold this down similar to how you fold we're going to try and crease that down right there and get a nice line right here and when we press this time we'll hold it a little longer getting quite thick for the amount of fabric that we have so we'll just give it a little bit of extra help now we'll repeat the process on this side make sure we have nice smooth lines Okay, now with these in place right here, I'm going to fold this triangle point under to form a nice little triangle. So 
always easier to press these from the other side. Just try and make sure it's nice and even. And we'll just hold this here for a little bit to allow that heat to seep in and firm up the crease there. Then, with our point together, we start gonna fold these bits out and tuck one side into the other. Just manipulate them till they fit snugly in. And then when we turn back to this side, see we have a cute little face. We can round this out. Almost looks like the bunny is wearing a hood. And we can put this in a bit further. We can tuck it around so that we have a nice bunny. And just tilt it around a bit and tuck. I can see our two bunny ears and a nice little bunny face. So that can just sit nicely on the plate and that can be a wonderful little homage. Next, I'm going to show you how to do a very classic fold, this one. But I'm going to do it in one of these white napkins. Obviously, a white swan looks very elegant. So, we'll just use this maroon for some contrast. Let's just make sure this is nice and smoothed out. Okay. So this fold begins with the napkin in quarters. So if you have a napkin that's already folded in quarters, you don't need to undo anything. So now, to start this fold, I'm going to begin in a diamond shape. So this diamond will be have the four open corners at the top. And then we're going to form a kite shape. So similar the fold we had with the Easter Bunny. That's the kind of airplane fold. To get these even, sometimes that's why I'm finger pressing them first. So 
I can make sure they're nice and relatively even. And then we'll press them. It's much better. Okay, then we're going to turn this over. Still want this narrow point facing us. We're just going to fold these back in to meet in the middle. So they'll fold in basically like that. Just want to make sure they're pretty even. Finger press that in. And then give them a nice spritz. And lock that shape in with a good iron. You can see here this kind of has come undone a bit. Then we just push it with the iron a bit to make sure we get that nice fold so it'll meet in the center. Your iron really be an asset for these situations. So we've got now this shape. Now we're going to fold the napkin in half and then we fold the top down. This is going to begin forming the head of our swan. And that's why we do want to make sure this is just folded in enough. We're going to pull it in so that as we Nice, relatively parallel line for this fold, folding down at the point to create a nice symmetrical head shape. Now, we're going to fold the napkin in half lengthwise. And we can only really do this. Obviously, we're not going to be able to get much of a crease in. But you can almost begin to see the swan taking shape. So, we're going to hold the napkin firmly along the lower edge of the body with one hand. So right here. And then we pull up here and lift the neck away from the body and flatten it to the base. We lift and flatten the head and then one by one, pull up these layers to form the body of our swan. So you can see it's a very elegant, beautiful fold, and you can really use a lot of, you can manipulate it. A fair amount to get it how you want it to look. But I think it's just a beautiful fold. So 
So there we have. We can even press those in. We just want a little bit more help on keeping those how we want them. So there we have an elegant, beautiful swan ready to greet our guests from their plate. I will set that one to the side and I have one more fold to show you. For our last fold, I'm going to look at the samurai helmet. This is a design for a model of a Japanese warrior's helmet. It's a beautiful fold into fabric which can grace the table when it has perhaps a little bit more. When it perhaps has a little bit more of an Asian flair. So let us begin. This begins with the large diamond. We'll need to fold it in half to create a triangle. I think we'll actually, we want the edges to look nice on this one, so I think we'll grab one of our white napkins. Again, I'll use this for contrast, so you can see as I work through the this just to make sure it looks much better. Okay, so triangle is going to go in this direction. With a nice long edge towards the top. I'm going to fold down to form a diamond. Then we fold these two points up to form sharp points. Then, we're going to fold these points out. 
wanted to be basically at a right angle to this line. It will be a little difficult with this one, just because it's got the embroidery. It's a little easier with this one. I want them to look fairly easy. pick just a single layer up at the corner and fold it upwards so that this is about halfway up this So next, we're going to take the rest of this piece and fold it so it will be in line with the bottom of our larger triangle and it forms basically a brim along the bottom of our helmet. Let's see, we have over and this gets folded up to form the back layer of the helmet. So you can see it's very cute like this be fluffed out and it sits up. Like so. Just need to manipulate it a little bit. You get a lovely 3D helmet. It's a beautiful So those are our three, are our three napkin folds. Have the samurai hat, the Easter bunny. See you again.